<laughs> Anyways, Lady Alicent. But point is, Otto is still in a position of power. He's the hand of the king. It's pretty important, and he's kind of getting under Otto's skin here. Say all this stuff kind of goes down a little bit differently. Say he never leaves for Dragonstone, and uh, Viserys, you know, marries Lena Valarian. And you, what if you had something of this situation where Damon makes Alicent turn more to his side? And I mentioned that the High Towers are very close to the Sept of Baylor. Right, you know, given into account how he's always at the brothels with Masaria and stuff, if he broke Alicent out of her shell, do you realize what hell and chaos that would cause? Like, what are your thoughts on that? It's funny if he even took it a step further and had Damon marry Allison. That would have caused some. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you think? Do you think the world implodes at that point, or what? Do you think there's a war that happens? What if you know, like, say Damon wants to reclaim what's rightfully his after this whole thing, and then fucking you know he does this whole thing with Allison, and then she feels like maybe he should have been the rightful heir, almost like Missaria, and then you have this whole corrupt issue with religion with the Sept of Baylor. What do you think? Again, I think we're throwing this rightful heir here thing too loosely because if we're talking about, oh, yeah. if we're talking about, you know, Lena married. Let's say and, Lena couldn't produce a male. Oh, okay, if she couldn't produce a male heir, then that that's one thing. Um, but then yes, then he's got a strong claim. But like, what if she? They, now, now we're kind of getting into like another deeper aspect of this. Like, what if they did produce a male heir? And he still went ahead and married Allison anyways. See, I think that would have made Viserys happy because now, oh, we're still joining our houses, Otto. You know, like my brother is marrying your daughter. And so the High Towers and Targaryens are together. Because you see, Viserys is very much like that. He loves everyone he wants. Everyone, he wants to do his best to please everyone, but also kind of do his best to roam. He, he doesn't really make, you know, he, he's not the kind to rock the boat. The biggest thing he did to rock the yeah. boat was decide to marry Allison instead of Lena. But if we're doing this whole what if, what if thing and we're going with the trope that him and Lena were able to produce. You know, so honestly, what that would do is it probably ostracize House Hightower. And we might get to the point where Otto Hightower turns into someone who wants to see King Viserys and like, their line gone. You know, Because not only did yeah. you spurn my daughter and not marry her, you married her to someone who's been outwardly disrespectful to me since day one. And he's going to sit there and throw it in my face like for as long as I live. So not only did you not want to marry, you passed it off to the second son, the guy who's a dickhead to everyone, and now they're married and they're going to have kids, and now he's got to be a part of my family. Like, I think that really kind of goes, like, that kind of pisses everybody yeah. off, but, like, or not everybody. You might have the Hightower Rebellion at Honestly, that yes, that's what I'm thinking. You'd have the Hightower Rebellion at that point in time. <laughs> uh, I just don't think it would have lasted very long, because I you don't know how many people would have took Hightower's side. But, um, but, yeah, I think that would have been more of a interesting interesting thing there so but to then if we're going to go back to your side here of maybe they couldn't produce an heir and we still had damon in play and he married allison and at that point we kind of have what we have going on now just with different people 